hi guys so welcome back to yet another vlog and guys as my title suggests it is my last day in this Pakwach village yeah so in case it's your very first time coming here um go watch the other vlogs uh i've been in uh, this village for quite some times but it's high time to say goodbye which is so emotional so guys in case you're first time here welcome my name is beatrice hongo at the moment uh, i'm kenyan but i'm coming from you live from pakwach village so kindly subscribe if you haven't and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a video so being the last day uh, not actually the last day like i have just some hours i uh, will be leaving tonight uh, with a night uh, bus so that we can reach town uh tomorrow uh, in the morning so it's so sad like i felt as if i was uh, home i felt nice these people are so kind they've been so welcoming they've been so kind to me i've been eating guys you can see i've added some weight and yeah it's high time i leave so um i'm just going to chat uh, along with them just some story time before i say goodbye then we'll catch up with you guys later and by the way guys thank you so much for the love and support you've shown me in my previous vlog i really really appreciate it so without further ado guys let's start the video i know it's not going to be an easy one like literally you know if you stay somewhere then it's uh, when coming i didn't know that the day is going to end that i'm going to leave but i'll be still be with african nyako for because i'm still going to kampala we need to go to apartment before i proceed back to my town like my seat my country yeah so i hope you're going to stick along as well and we'll see you guys later so in the meantime let me just catch up with them then we'll talk later guys so bye for now Mommy, mommy. hey the shop no, I don't have any. Francis, you are Ah, ah, what are you singing? I sang it. Baby A few moments later So guys, I'm, we are finally here at uh, Pakwach uh, town Like actually this is the town of this place So we are um, waiting for the bus so we are waiting for the bus to board to kampala so it will take us approximately by tomorrow morning yeah so right now it is 11 p.m and we're supposed to leave here at midnight so that's what we are doing there all these people are traveling like these ones are traveling to kampala so yeah Pray for us guys to have a safe journey and uh, reach home safely. And apparently, I'm being told that this place, guys, it's not uh, like a back, uh, bus station. It's like a picking. So the bus just come, people enter faster, faster, then we move.
This one. Don't get it. So guys, we are having a quick stop here at a, a supermarket. Like apparently, all the buses heading to Kampala are stopping here for just people to refresh up themselves people to take something to eat then uh, we proceed so so far so good the journey has been amazing though it's tiresome and also you know guys are like the driver is over speeding as usual but hopefully we'll reach uh, our destination uh, safely so let me just go and assist myself i'm not going to buy anything to eat here i'm not going to drink anything hey <laughs> hey i've been trying to sleep guys but I can't, you know, <laughs> the, the vehicle is really over speeding. You sleep for like 10 to 20 minutes, then you get up. So, yeah, so far, I can't complain anyway. So, in the meantime, uh, I'm just going to. It's not easy to record now because it's a dark. Then, also, there's so much uh, loud music. Yeah, so. Let me go assist myself then I'll come back to you guys uh, later. <laughs> thousand years later guys we finally made it to Kampala <laughs> so guys we finally made it to Kampala town so I'm boarding a taxi we we are boarding a taxi so that uh, we can go and give you some more content in this place but uh, so far so good the journey has been amazing everything was okay so catch up with you guys later late night spin on long flight stayed on strange time it's a strange time in my life I Took a drive home to clear my mind, oh. And I ended back at your spot for what felt like a millionth time. Reconnection from separate sections, cause we could meet in the middle with no sense of direction. If it's sun up to sun down, we mess around, we're way too involved now. I never wanted someone to disappear, to disappear. Kept our secrets hidden, eating fruit so forbidden Kept our secrets safe Cause the temptation, it felt 